my god. <laughs> I'm gonna freak out. Oh my god. With Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm really excited to tell you that we are doing an NF reaction. Yes, did you hear that correctly? I think you did. We are doing NF story. I know this came out like a week ago and you guys have been saying, do NF, 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 NF. He dropped this song a week ago. So I'm like excited to bring you a new song and not one that he did a while ago. So this is new, this is fresh. I'm super excited to give it to you guys. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm super excited. Finally, finally doing an NF reaction. All right, I know you're excited too. So let's get right on into this. I don't wanna waste any more time. Let's just get started. Woke up in a bad place. Should probably get up so I'm not late. Stared at my phone for the past eight minutes. Had nothing. My head aches. Bottles empty by the lampshade. Mod of Excedrin again. I can't already tell that this song is relatable. I think we all get in that situation where we woke up late, we look at our phone for a good 10 minutes, we just go straight into what's happening in this world. Just feeling, when you wake up like the night before, like a hangover or whatever, all the emotions that come along with checking your phone, you know, all of that great stuff. So I'm excited to see how this happens. I love the sound of it, the vibe. NF kind of has like this, I'm trying to see who he relates to. Let me know in the comments below if you can put like some other artist that relates to him. I can't put my finger on it, but he does have a recognizable voice. Maybe I've heard his music before. I want to say I don't know anything about NF, but something tells me that I may have crossed his music and didn't even know it. Great, too early to tell, but at this rate, I'm thinking this might be a bad day. I walk out the bedroom, my roommates, I sleep on the couch with her two faced Boyfriend who lives here but don't pay, a penny for rent, but he still stays. She says he's broke, I'm like, no way. Probably sells drugs, but she won't say. Told me he dabbles in real estate. I mean, I don't believe it, but okay, okay, pull out the driveway. Okay, I'm gonna pause. That is so relatable. Everybody knows somebody or has been in that situation where they had a roommate who her boyfriend is now staying there. He's not even putting one cent towards rent. He says he dabbles with like real estate but isn't getting any deals. Might be a drug dealer on the side but won't really say it. It's just like everyone has been through this situation. It's so relatable. I just feel like a lot of us probably are like listening to this and saying this is a true story. Like 100% is a story that everybody can relate to or at least know somebody who knows somebody who's been in this situation. Situation. I think we've all seen it. Notice my gas tank's on E again. Well, of course it is, because I probably should stop at the gas station, so I take a right, pull up to the pump. While it's pumping, I look at my ashtray. Then remember, I need to get cigarettes. cigarettes. Anything to help my mind state, so I park and walk inside. Wait, I should probably get something to drink and eat, I guess. So I finally grab a couple bags of chips. Where's the candy aisle? Oh, yeah, here it is. Which one should I get? Should I grab the Starburst or change it up and maybe grab the Twix? Mmm, grab the Starburst and I started walking. As I pass so relatable. I think we've all been there. We've all pulled up to the gas station. And we're like, okay, darn. Now I gotta get gas. I'm low on gas. And now I'm feeling kind of hungry. I want to get some food. Oh, wait, I forgot. I'm out of cigarettes. I gotta get cigarettes. Anxiety. You know, it's just so relatable. The garbage and I reach a fridge. I hear someone yelling at the front of the store. Probably just a homeless guy getting bored. Probably just a customer whose car didn't work and now he wants to start a war. Man, I can't afford to keep buying energy drinks every day. I shut the door, then turn around and as I'm heading towards the counter with my drink, I hear, Hey, open up the drawer! chills okay i kind of saw this coming but like i was like hoping not but like can you imagine just doing your everyday thing and then this happening oh my gosh crouching on the floor peek around the aisle gun is on the floor head of the man that's behind the counter now my heart is pounding and i'm praying to the lord i don't die today i can't die today i got things to do trying not to shake plotting my escape okay i don't any of you guys have ever been in this situation i have personally i know that that moment when you're in a situation is like a gunman like am i gonna make it out of this like i have goosebumps because i don't know if you guys know but i was involved in a mass shooting i was in that moment where i was like oh my gosh is this my last moment am i gonna die like as you see in this song oh like i'm not supposed to die today i have all these things i had planned on doing and i need to make it out of here so what do i do do i just stay quiet do i be the superhero and save someone else's life is he gonna shoot us all like that moment is so scary because 
you just don't know if you're gonna make it out. Where's my cell phone at? Left it in my car, icing on the cake. I start calling, I can hear him yelling. I want every penny, I want every dime. Yeah. yeah. Once you finish with the cash, open up the bag, throw some cigarettes inside. Yeah. yeah. Which ones do you want? Which ones do you want? I'm not picky, give me any kind. Give me all of them. Yeah, just toss them in. Keep it moving, no, I'm running low on time. And I'd advise you. I get Eminem vibes here. I don't know why. Let me know if you agree or disagree. But this is super scary. Uh, it's definitely a story for sure. Wondering what's going to happen next. It'll move a little quicker. Trust me, I don't want to have to pull the trigger. I've done it before. It's not a pretty picture. What, you don't believe me? I'm just playing with you. Well, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Just do what I say, because if you even think of trying to pull a fast one on me, promise you'll be sorry. Oh, my driver's calling. I can't miss my pickup. That's when I did something stupid and my jacket knocked over a can of soup and then it got quiet. Did he hear me moving? Shh. Hold my breath. He must have heard That's me. the worst. You're just trying to survive. Next thing you know, you're being noticed. You almost got away. He was like, oh, I need to get out of here. But don't think that I won't shoot you because I've done it before. That's scary. So she's sitting there like watching the whole thing. Scary it happened and she's like, okay, maybe I'm gonna survive. He's getting ready to leave. Knocks the can over and he's like, wait, what was that? Now someone's probably gonna get shot here and that's super scary. I'm hoping for that not to happen. I don't wanna see that happen. I do wanna say, if any of you guys have ever been in this situation where you're down to that minute of like, there's someone with a gun, you don't know if you're gonna survive or not. It's super scary and I'm sure if you've been in a situation, you know how scary the situation is. So let's see what happens. Me do it. Huh, I'm assuming the noise must have made him turn his head enough to let the guy that was at gunpoint grab his own gun. Now they both got weapons. Maybe I should help him sneak up slow and deck him. Time to go, time to go, time to go. It's gonna be a bloody miracle. Now I never got it fired. Any blessings coming in my future? Could you send them to my present? Peek around the edge and I start running at him. He don't see me coming. Does he step in closer? Grab his neck and hold him, squeezing on his throat. I'm trying to choke him, then his elbow hits my nose and... Think he broke it, I think he broke it, my blood is leaking all over my toes, I try not to let go, but my hands begin to slip. Okay, I hate to stop it right in the middle of this, but I literally, I have the goosebumps, this is absolutely crazy. It got so intense, the anticipation was built, and then this happened. She ran to be the hero. She was hoping that she distracted him long enough that the cashier was able to grab his gun, which is exactly what happened. I have the chills because I want to say this is going to turn out positive. I really do, I have my fingers crossed. I thought for a second, in that moment, Moment when she jumped on Robert that somebody was gonna get shot that he was gonna accidentally trigger and like somebody was gonna get shot been bullets start to fly can't see out my eyes cash you're still alive I can tell I'm trying to crawl away here comes another guy he runs inside like where's the money did you get the money where's the bag you brought oh my god okay so the gun did go off literally and then there's another guy so now they're like really outnumbered and it's like what's gonna happen here we're all really scared i don't want to see anyone die i think the cashier guy just got shot is that what happened i don't do machine guns i don't do like i'm sweating now i got like the chills and i'm sweating i don't do machine guns i don't do situations where there's shootings i have ptsd so even watching this i'm probably gonna have nightmares now <laughs> I don't know, I think it's still behind the counter Probably by the cashier I just shot hey. Who's this on the floor? Who's this on the floor? I don't know What did they call the cop? He runs up to me, then he grabs my shoulder As he flips me over, then my jaw drops Cause I thought his voice sounded real familiar He's got a mask on, but the shirt he's wearing Is the same one he had on this morning Staring in my eyes, I know he knows, I know Embarrassed, he stands up me and says Sorry, Aaron, but I don't have a choice He holds So the cashier was shot. I'm gonna freak out. Oh my god, with <gasps> so barrel up to my head, I scream, You can't be serious. He shakes his head and says, I'm sorry. Then the gun. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh. I'm not gonna be able to sleep for a week. Oh, I got the goosebumps, literally. Cashier oh. yells to ask if I'm okay. He's dialing 911. I run over to him, grab his phone, and try to help him up. It's been a robbery. The cashier was shot. He needs an ambulance. He looks kind of pale. I think he might have lost a lot of blood. Okay, help is on the way. Has anybody else been injured? Yeah, the robbers. There were two of them. Well, I'm not really sure, but they don't look so good. I'm pretty sure they're dead. Yeah, I think they're dead. All right, take a deep breath. Everything's gonna be okay. You're gonna be all right. I just want to 
say that this turned quickly and I'm in shock. Oh my God. And like, let me know in the comments below. She knew that guy. They knew each other, right? Was that the roommate? We're about to find out. I guess that's it. I kind of wanted to know what happened. Like a movie. Wow. Oh my God. Okay, that's it. Wow. That was intense. I want to say I'm glad that I did this reaction video because of how intense it was and like just shocking. Now I'm not going to be able to sleep for a week because I have PTSD and I don't do machine gun scenes like if there's a show or a movie and there's like a lot of gunfire. Like I don't do that. I don't, I don't do gore. I don't do blood. So this video was very intense for me. So feel lucky that I did it. Oh my God. I am in shock right now. Like I'm sweating. Like I have to go cool off you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. I love you. Hit that subscribe button. Follow the description below on how to enter my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. We're almost there. I appreciate you guys coming in. I love you. Follow my Instagram. Like this video. See you guys later. Bye.